standing by with some of H2K after their first win at Worlds. Thank you, yes. More specifically, Lulex and Kasing after that victory of H2K over the Bangkok Titans. <laughs> Let's dive into the game a little bit, because Mordekaiser was left open for the very first time. Did you guys tunnel on that very hard because of it, uh, or were you prepared to go and play with him? Well, to be honest, like, we didn't expect Mordekaiser to be open, because Mord has 100% like, pick ban rate. So mm -hmm. I assume, you know, when they're going to play Mord. But when they left open Mord, it was kind of like, yeah, Mordekaiser is like, super OP right now. So yeah, we just picked it. Super OP, yet. It came close in terms of kills and Bangkok Titans uh, engagement overall. How did you live the game? Because you guys were the favorites coming into it, but at some point it was pretty close. I think it just comes to the fact that we didn't get much practice with Mordekaiser in screens because it's usually banned. But since it's like 100% uh, banned, we just felt forced to pick it. And I mean, we just knew it was OP. We just had to place the comp right. They got the first Drake. We just needed to get the other one, and it happened. So A lot of five man knock ups by Alistar helped a little bit as well, Kasing. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Um, stepping away from this game, you're now one and two in this group. Uh, it's safe to say that you're total underdogs in this group that is very heavily stacked. You guys went to boot camp in Korea after the group draw. You tweeted, I don't know if it was serious or not. You guys tweeted, well, it's over, boys. GG. Has that changed at all? Because honestly, you put up a decent fight versus EDG yesterday. You have a win here, and you have some time to practice now. Well, I don't think it's completely over because we have to play the game, so it was actually over. But uh, <laughs> I mean, at the time, we were just pretty good because we had SKT and EGG. But I still think we can maybe take off a game from one of them. But hopefully, you know, we're lucky. Yeah. Lulex, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, in the day of the uh, announcement, we were a bit depressed and stuff because it was really unlucky. But then we reminded ourselves that it's just a best of one and anything can happen. So we just kept on trying in Korea, and I think we have a shot. Um, obviously, Lulex, for you personally, there was a lot of criticism on your play from all sides coming in at the end of the season. How have you personally dealt with that? I uh, just try to ignore it, honestly, and just try to focus <laughs> on my game and improve. That is the best way to handle it. And with all of that, you still had all the fans here ch chanting your name. Rather, is there anything you'd like to say to them? It's the first time I play in France. Franchement, je me trouve super et on a encore <laughs> et um, ouais, on a encore une game contre DJ et on va tout donner pour pas vous décevoir. Voilà. A big thank you from Lulex to the super fans here and saying that they still have a chance versus SKT and EDG and he's going to try not to let them down while well, you guys have a win on the board already. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. We're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, it is about in Group D between LGD and KT. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Look, look behind you. Look at Hyun's face. Come into now. Yeah. Be like that, Yana? I'm so cool there. Lands the stun. There's the flash pulverized. Headbutt him backwards. Exhaust on Yarn. And doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot. There comes Rest of the team. Give it a more. Fight, 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 the dragon value is big on this one. All is well. There's a triple kill. H2K pick up their first win at Worlds.